a characteristic of digitalization which can be very delicate is the fact that digital information and digital networks allow you to select the degree of media richness. So media richness theory is a, one of the fundamental theories of mediated communication developed by Langle and Duff in the late 80s, and they define media richness as the ability to handle multiple cues simultaneously, to facilitate rapid feedback, to establish a personal focus, and to, and to utilize natural language. So they say some media have a lot of media richness, face-to-face -face dialogue has a lot of richness into it, and, and others have much less media richness. For example, a letter or an email or text message is much less rich. And now they say that the complexity of an information has to be adjusted to the level of media richness. For example, if you have a quite complex information content, for example, a doctor communicates to a patient that the patient has a deadly disease, writing a text message might not be the appropriate medium. On the other hand, if you have informational content that's not as complex, for example, the score of a sports event or the stock market price, setting up a personal meeting to communicate it might not often not be necessary. And it's enough to have a little ticker at the bottom of the TV screen, which just tells you the stock market price. So you, you go on this trade-off axis between oversimplification and overkill. And between these two is actually effective communication. And always choosing the effective communication medium is a very important task also for you and your future job. People got fired because they used the wrong medium for a specific message. People are very delicate and then basically, well, they kill the messenger if it's not communicated correctly and you don't want that to happen. So digital networks and digital information general gives you a selection of which kind of medium to choose. And it's worthwhile to put a lot of thought into which kind of medium to choose. Just to give you one example, a recent study showed that the rating of job candidates with regard to their intellect, their general impression of the candidate, and the likelihood for them to be hired depended a lot on if the candidate presented him or herself through video, through audio, or through a written transcript. Candidates that presented themselves through video or audio, they were seen to have a much higher intellect than when the same candidates presented themselves in a written way. So. This study, for example, shows that, for example, there's a lot of information, additional information that we assign to the human voice. So if you hear somebody talking, it's completely different than if you just read the text of somebody. And that just shows you that one always have to be careful in which medium to choose. That makes a very important impression and gives meaning to the message.